hello everyone in this tutorial I will explain how to use all the constant with example and in this tutorial I will explain all the transformation constant and in the next one I will explain all the tracking constants and in the other in the third one I will explain all the relationship constants you can download project file for free from gumroad so you can follow along the tutorial and all the patreon will receive two project file one without any constraint and one final project file with all the constraint and setup and so let's get started so before we add a constraint to this window let's see how copy con copy location constraint works i prepare this scene this one is look corner object and this one is target object select the owner object go to the constraint tab and then select copy location constraint and with the eyedropper tool you can select the target object and as you can see now this owner object is copying the location of the target object and if I move this the, tar the owner object will move along the target object and here we can define if you want to only copy the x axis y axis or z axis so let's disable the x uh, sorry y and z axis for a moment and let's see what happens now if I try to if I move this in the y axis or in the z axis nothing will happen but if I move this in the x axis it will copy the location as we have defined in over here and same goes to the y or the z axis okay now we have this invert checkbox so for now let's uh, clear the location so we have it in the center of the object now I make this to go on the uh, uh, I will click on the invert and now if I move the target object in the X axis it will do the opposite of the target object so now it's going in the opposite of the X axis and if we now click on all the axis it will work like a mirror as you can see and now we have let's uh, uncheck all the invert now if we try to move this target owner object we will not be able to move it we can only move the target object we cannot move the owner object but if we select the uh, if we click on the offset as you can see it shifted to its original position now we can independently move the owner object and then also we can move the target object so let's uh, uncheck no leave it and then we have this space world axis or local axis that you can define over here so the local axis most they work with the bones when you are trying to rig the character and with the object most of the time the world of uh, world axis works and this this second one is for the target object and the first one is for the source object I mean the owner object and with the influence slider we can make it do nothing and do uh, completely everything like this now it's moving to its original position and now it's moving to the target object so let's hide this one and uncheck the copy location collection let's take this select the owner object the middle window and then copy location constant and then click on the pi uh, I mean this little eyedropper tool and then click the panel window panel and then as you can see it's shifted to the location of the window panel now we can disable the Y and Z because we just want this to do uh, we just want this to copy the Y X axis as you can see if we click on the Y axis it will now change its location but we want this to stay on this rail this railing sorry now I will uh, make the influence slider 0.5 because it's in the half of this one okay and then now again select this one now we need one more copy location constant I will repeat the same thing and now all we have to do is click on this offset and as you can see now it's rigged if I move this in the x-axis it will close 
and if I move this one in the x axis it would for now as you can see we can go out of this frame that we can fix with the limit uh, limit location constraint so keep watching now let's add a constraint to this door and let's see how the copy rotation constraint works select this door go to the constraint tab and then select the copy rotation constraint and now select this door now if I rotate this door this one will also rotate let's make it zero now if I parent this to this one see what happens now if I rotate this one this will go along with it and now as you can see I have already explained all of these parameters only this one is new so if I change this to add see what happens it's adding the rotation on the top of the rotation of this object so we can now do this make it zero now select this object go to the copy rotation tab and then select this object now if I rotate this let's see what happens so it's going in the opposite direction so this is where the invert tab comes handy as you can see now it's going just like the way we want it to do now select this one and then parent to this one control V now if I rotate this one it's going now again select this one copy rotation and then select this one click on add it so we have successfully rigged our door let's move to copy scale constant so let's see how the copy location copy scale constant works select the owner object go to the constant tab and then add a copy scale constant and now if I scale this one it will also scale along with it and we have this power slider that if I make it 2 now it will scale as twice as this one and we have uniform I mean offset and adaptive so let's do something with it I was unable to find a good example for this one so this is what I find this is what I made so let's select this one copy scale select this one and I will make it 1.25 and then I will repeat it few times so I am speeding up the video so I have added the copy scale to the every single this thing this pole and I have added 2.5 on the each now this one is 1.25 this one is 1.5 this one is 1.275 and this one is 2 now if I scale this in the Z axis see what happens it's going like this so it's kind of cool effect I can say and now let's see what we can do with it we can now select this shift s cursor to selection change this to 3d cursor and then select this one and then shift d to duplicate z 180 uh, sorry r r z 180 now we have duplicated this on the other side as well so this is what we can do with it i don't know maybe you can find a better example so let's see how coffee transform work so select this one go to the constant and click copy transform and then select this one this is what it does it's like it will copy everything scale rotation and the position uh, and I can't find any good example where we can use this uh, we can always just we can just parent this and it will do the same thing I don't know why we have this so if you know you can tell me in the comment section I would be really appreciated for this so before we rig this suspension let's see how limit distance works so I have prepared this scene select this cube go to the constant tab 
and add a limit distance constant and then select this ISO icosphere now this one is set to inside now if I try to move this object outside of this icosphere it will not go outside it will always stay inside also we can define the distance over here so if I increase the distance it will go out but only to the defined distance so see it's not going it's only going 4.5 meter so let's switch it back to 1 and then we have another mode this then change this to outside now it will always stay outside of this icosphere and then we have the surface it will always stick to the surface it will not go inside or not go outside so let's rig this huge suspension select the bottom one go to the constant tab and then select the limit distance and select this one now as you can see if I try to move it up it will go but if I try to move this down it will not go but if I st we can still go through this so how we can fix it move this all the way to here just over here and then add another limit distance constant and this time make it outside now if I try to move this oh sorry I forgot to select the object now if I try to move this up it will not go so we can only go down and up down and up so let's add few tracking constant by the way I will make a separate video for the tracking constant select the dump track and then select this one and change this to C axis and then again select this one and then change this to dump track and then select bottom one the minus G axis because it's minus now we can do this so let's see how limit location works so select the object go to the constant tab and add limit location constant now as you can see we have nothing to select because the limit location constant work on the selected object itself so we want this to limit the x location so click on x make minimum and maximum and as soon as I click on the ma ma maximum it will switch to zero so now we will not be able to move it anywhere so we want this to move this much maximum should be this value so as you can see it switch back to this and the minimum should be this value over here so select this one copy this and then paste this over here now let's see what it does so if I move this in the x-axis see it's moving but it's not going outside of the frame okay so let's repeat this one with this one as well select this copy sorry limit location check this one click copy paste this because we have already copied this um, and then select this one sorry copy this and then paste this over here so now we have fixed this one and this one so let's see how limit rotation works so select this one go to the limit rotation and then we want this to limit we want to limit the z axis so as you can see we can go like this one we can go crazy with it but we just want it to go somewhere over here uh, just like this oh no maybe so let's assume we have a wall over here so we will only go till this one so, so the z axis select the z axis and then we can go only 132 so type in over here so now we cannot we can go this we can now rotate this one sorry as you can see if I disable this we can go outside of the frame also we can go in the ne negative so we have limited this now we cannot go let's see how limit scale works so let's 
add something just for the reference uh, over here so let's see we have this thing and we just don't want this to go above this one so we can select this go to the limit scale and then we can make it one for now so minimum and the maximum so minimum should be one as usual it should be one and let's see how much we want this to maximum so I think this this is enough make it two maybe so I will make it maximum two so let's delete this one so now it will not go below one and above up to maintain volume constant it's a pretty uh, easiest one and but it's really powerful so select this one go to the constant tab and then add a maintain volume constant now we can if now we scale it it will always try to maintain its volume so change this to z see it's now trying to maintain the volume this is what it does so if you are making like a ball animation you can use this constant to make a squish and stretch effect and we can define the volume we can define this axis if you want this to do in the x axis or in the z axis transformation constant is a really powerful constant but it's a little bit complex but once you understand it it's pretty easy so let's see how it works select the the tire and then select the transformation and then in the target object at this cube now the source object is the target object and the destination object is the selected object itself so what this constant does is it borrows the location of the or the rotation or the scale of the object and then convert this to any of the other axis uh, transformation like you can copy the location and then convert that into rotation so this is what we are going to do so let's select so for now we want the tire to move when we to rotate when we move this in the y axis okay so and then we want this to rotate in the uh, x axis so select this in the location the y so type any number for now 5 let's see and we want this to rotate so go to the rotate tab rotate in the x axis so let's type 360 now if I rotate if I move this nothing will happen before we are changing the axis so this one is so y this one is uh, this one we are moving this one into the y axis but we want to rotate this in the x axis so we will have to define that over here so from from y to x so from y to x so if now we will move it it will rotate but as you can see it's doing opposite so what we can do is we can click here and type in minus now if we move this it will see it's rotating but as you can see it's rotating only 360 degree and then it's stopped so what we can do as we can select this and click on this icon and now it will forever rotate sorry see it's rotating but if we see this from the side and we can see it's not like rotating accurately it's sliding a little bit so how we can make it 100% accurate rotation so we will have to use a bit of math if you have heard of circumference so we will need the circumference of this tire so how we can get a circumference of this tire so here we can get the diameter this one is diameter and then we can go to the google 
sorry we can go to the google and we can search circumference of cycle of circle and there we have radius but we have diameter we do not have radius so what we can do is so the diameter is the half of the uh, diameter is twice of the radius so what we can do is sorry we can do is we can click here and then we can divide it by 2 now we have a radius so copy this and then undo this and then again move to the google and search this over here so it will not work because we have m so remove the m and now we have the circumference so copy the circumference and paste it over here so when we move this cube one 2.9 meter it will rotate once so now if you see this from the side see now it's natural see so now it's 100 percent accurate rotation so this one is the last content constant of this video then we will explain the next in the next video i will explain about the tracking constant and the relationship constant but in the bonus let's do one more cool thing so i have this land i have this land with a bunch of subdivision and this displacement this displacement modifier and this cloud texture so what we can do is we can select the cube and then we can use the shrink wrap modifier uh, shrink wrap constant and then we can select this one land as you can see it's moved up and we can change this to nearest point from project now it's accurate now when we move this one it will go down up down up down see how cool this is okay